So I wanted to go over what I'm doing here. Okay, so this is a long hallway here, and this was the opening into the bathroom. There was a wall right here, and this was a closet into here. And then there was a little cubby hole that came back to right where those braces are, and that's where the wall stopped. And the AC unit was sitting right, right here, right up against the wall. So this was a little broom closet little wall here. Well this place needed another bathroom and so we were trying to figure out exactly how to do that and it came down to finding the main line and where the main line went. So they had a toilet or they have a toilet right over here. So we pulled the toilet off and I stuck a snake down it and the reason being is you can look down the hole and you can see which direction the pipe is going but the snake will tell you whether there's any bends in the line. So I shoved the snake down, and the snake went free and clear for about 20 feet before it hit any bends. So it told me, yeah, my pipe is running this way, and uh, there's no curves in it that are gonna mess up joining to it. So we went into the hallway, and I cut through the concrete, found the pipe, which was right where my hole was, you know, I just looked at the direction the snake was going and I just followed it and guessed approximately where the line would be. Now this is a uh, old iron pipe down there, so it's not PVC to connect to, so I've got a couple of couplings and then I've got a four inch uh, adapted to two inch Y coming off of it, feeding my drain line coming here to the shower. So this wall, or the base that's going to go in here is an acrylic base, it's a 36 inch shower. So the middle is 18 inches from both walls, and then it's 15 and a half inches from the back wall. So I've got this pipe here, my pipe down inside of it, right centered on where the drain is going to wind up being. And also just measuring for my vent, since my only other vent is over there that's too far away for the shower to vent to. Um, off of that vent. So I'm just going to have this one and a half inch line going up up through the top plate and it's going to connect up in the attic to that main branch going out. So that vent will ultimately be feeding this vent here but I'll only have one perforation through the roof. So this is some old ABS. I'm going to tear that out and put in PVC all the way up and uh, then I'm going to bring my water lines that are coming here to the sink and I'm going to take those up into the attic, bring them down over here to feed the shower. Now, to help with the water, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tra transition to PEX here, but I'm gonna transition from half inch to three quarter inch PEX, and that three quarter inch PEX will act kind of like a, uh, a manifold to where it's going to feed this half inch line off of it and then have three quarter inch going up and over. Um, that'll help with water pressure in case someone does turn on the sink here and someone is in the shower, which really, in reality, whoever's in the shower, I mean, there's not going to be another person in here besides that person in the shower, because this is actually a dormitory where staff and students live. So, anyways, but to future-proof it, I'm just going to take it up from half-inch to three-quarter, because half-inch pecs the interior dimensions of it, the um, inside dimensions, are are narrower than the interior dimensions of copper, half inch copper. So the three quarter inch pecs will just help to alleviate the problem of loss of water pressure that pecs bring sometimes with it. This place already has decent water pressure, so I'm not too worried, but it's just a few extra bucks and it will just help with that. So yeah, so vents coming up, and uh, so cutting through the concrete, if you're thinking about doing this yourself, what I used was an SDS Max drill to uh, cut through, and then I just stuck a, a seven inch masonry blade, or tile blade, concrete blade, onto my grinder. My, that's a four and a six inch grinder, or cap capacity up to six inch. But you pulled the guard off, which is not recommended, and you put a seven inch blade on it and it works just fine. So I just drew a box and my angles, these are 45 degree angle here, 
um, to approximately what I wanted. Gave myself enough room for a standard shovel to fit down in there. So around 10 or so inches, 10 or 11 inches wide, so my shovel fits down in there. So I've got room to work. And then I just drew lines on the ground, scored maybe the first top inch or three quarters with the saw blade, and then I came back and I drilled all the way through the concrete every six or so inches. Then I came in here with my mallet and broke it all up. And now, if your concrete is thicker than this stuff, because this is only like three inches, three and a half inches, if you have thicker concrete and there's rebar, because that was another thing I was glad to see, that they only had this, this, uh, this mesh in there. I mean, it's not chicken wire, but still, it's not super, super strong stuff. Um, but if there's rebar in your concrete and your concrete is thicker, like five inch, then you're going to have a harder time breaking it out. Um, and you might have to cut it deeper with the saw. But this is a doable project. Um, if you know a little bit about plumbing, how everything needs to connect, your vents, you know, how to do this, this is not an impossible thing to do if you need to add a bathroom into a house like this. Of course, if you've got you know, subfloors, then this is definitely an easy job. Now, what made this job a lot more difficult was having the AC unit right over where we needed to get to, because it was, the AC unit was sitting back here, so we had to move it. And that cost a little bit of money, I don't remember exactly how much it was to get it moved, but you can always get a quote from an HVAC guy. And it depends on your trunk lines and everything that's up there, how difficult it'll be. So yeah, just wanted to go over the project and show you what I did to get a new shower into this half bath that was here before.